Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a polynomial expression. So p of x is a polynomial, and we're given that p of 2x minus p of x is equal to 6x squared plus 3x. And we're supposed to evaluate p of 3 minus p of 1. So, how do we evaluate this given our polynomial, right? Think about it for a minute. Like, if I just substitute x with something, suppose x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, then I should be getting something like p of 2 minus p of 1 is equal to 6 plus 3, which is equal to 9. So that doesn't quite give me what I need. I, I get the p of 1, but I don't get the p of 3. Can we, just, can we just continue to substitute to get that? I don't think so. So here's what we're supposed to do. We're going to try to find p of x from here. Since p of x is a polynomial, it should be easier than a function because we know what it looks like, sort of, right? Well, polynomials, you know, in general are written like this. p of x is a sub n x to the nth power plus a sub n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1, so on and so forth, all the way down to a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. So those are the coefficients, and we have the powers of x that are in descending order, so on and so forth. But this is a polynomial of degree n. So the biggest question here is, what degree must p of x have? And here's my claim. Because the difference is quadratic here, and p of 2x and p of x should have different leading coefficients. What do I mean by leading coefficient? The leading coefficient of a polynomial is basically a sub n. The coefficient, the coefficient of the term with the highest power. So, how do we know that? How do we know... Uh, this, uh, how, do, how can we use this information, right? Well, since the difference is x squared, um, my claim is going to be that p of x should be a quadratic. But remember what I said. I said, okay, these two polynomials should have different leading coefficients. Why did I say that? Or how can we prove it, right? Well, if you think about it, replace, just think about a simpler version of this polynomial. How about a sub n x to the power n? It wouldn't matter because the degree is determined by the highest power, so we don't really care about the lower degree terms. So it, think about p of 2x. You can write it as a sub n 2x to the power n. And then you can basically write this as a sub n times 2 to the power n times x to the power n. In this case, you notice that these two have to be different unless, unless, they are equal, right? So how can they be equal? Well, if they're equal, that means 2 to the power n is equal to 1, which means n is equal to 0. But if n is equal to 0, then you're talking about a constant polynomial, and the difference of two constant polynomials can never be a quadratic polynomial. So that kind of explains if our polynomial is not constant, then p of 2x and p of x should have different leading coefficients, which brings us to the idea of p of x to be a quadratic. Okay, so from here, we deduce that p of x is a quadratic polynomial. So how do we proceed from here, right? Now, wouldn't a cubic work? No, it wouldn't work. Because if you plug in a cubic for p of x, p of, two, p of 2x and p of x, their difference is going to be cubic. So it's not going to work. So it, since we know now that p of x is a quadratic polynomial, we can go ahead and write it as p of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, what about p of 2x? Just replace a with x with 2x. 2x quantity squared is going to be 4, so you're going to get 4ax squared plus 2bx because b times 2x is 2bx, 2b or not 2b plus c. The constant term is not going to change. So that's our, those are the polynomials that we have, and we're going to be looking at the difference. So let's go ahead and subtract them this way. So we're looking at p of 2x minus p of x, which can be written as 4ax squared plus 2bx plus c minus ax squared minus bx minus c. Obviously, the c cancels out, which is good and bad, you know, because then we're not going to get any idea about the c, but that's okay. And we know that this is equal to what? 6x squared plus 3x, because it's given in the problem. 
Okay, so we started off with the assumption that, okay, P of X must be quadratic. We plugged it in and now we got the following. So let's go ahead and write that down as an equation. But here's what I want you to notice and myself. 4AX squared minus AX squared, that's going to give me 3AX squared plus 2BX minus BX, that's going to give me a positive BX. Since the C canceled out, we don't have that anymore, which is good because I don't have a constant on the right-hand side. Obviously, that makes sense, right? Okay, great. So now, we have two polynomials that are equal, and these polynomials are equal for all values of X that are in the domain. But what is the domain? Set of real numbers. Okay, then, in order for these to be equal all the time, then 3A should equal 6, and B should equal 3. So this gives us A equals 2, and B equals 3. But remember, we had our polynomial in the following form, AX squared plus BX plus C. Then this tells us that, okay, P of X, which is the solution to our polynomial equation, must be 2X squared plus 3X plus C. Wait a minute, what is C? We don't know what it is. C is totally arbitrary, which means you can't really determine C, or you can just use anything you want for C. C can be 1, C can be 1 half, C can be negative 1 million. We don't care, right? C is arbitrary. But now, let's go ahead and check this out. We were given that P of 3, or actually not given. We are supposed to evaluate P of 3 minus P of 1. So we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and evaluate the following. What is P of 3? P of 3 is 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus C. I don't know what C is, but I don't care. You're going to see that C is going to cancel out. 2 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus C. Again, C cancels out. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 9 minus 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. We're just going to subtract from 27. We're going to subtract 5. And the answer is going to be 22. Again, the value of C didn't really matter here. And at the end, it canceled out. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.